Good morning friends and it's good to join with you in this way once again. Now there's a story about a traveller who met a wise man along the road and asked him, where is the road to success? And so the wise man didn't speak but instead pointed to a place far off in the far distance. The traveller, thrilled at the prospect of quick and easy success, rushed off in that direction when, splat, down he went. He limped back, bruised and stunned. And so assuming he must have misinterpreted the message, he repeated his question and again the philosopher pointed silently in the same direction. So the traveller took off once more. This time the splat was deafening. Crawling back, bruised, broken and irate, he shouted at the wise man, I asked you which way is success. I followed the direction you indicated and all I got was splattered. No more pointing, talk. Only then did the wise man speak. Success is that way. It's just a little beyond that splat. And the fact is, all of us have experienced that splat, haven't we? That moment when we fall or hit an obstacle that stops us in our tracks. There's no way to avoid it, but it's what we do after the splat that makes all the difference. And perseverance always wins. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1, let us run the race with perseverance, the race marked out before us. Let me say that again, let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. Champion racer Rick Mears is attributed with saying, to finish first, you must first finish. So if we fall, we need to get up again and keep going. The American educator Hamilton Holt said once, nothing worthwhile comes easily. Half the effort does not produce half results. It produces no results. Work, continuous work and hard work is the only way to accomplish results that last. And so today, let's, let's resolve to keep persevering and keep going past our splat moments. And so why don't you, if you get a few moments today, draw a splat shape, whatever shape that is in your mind, and inside it, write the words of Hebrews chapter 12, verse one. Keep your drawing to help you to persevere whenever you experience a splat moment. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Faithful Creator, whose mercy never fails, deepen our faithfulness to you and to your living word, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by sharing the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.